Okay, here we are at Wellney Wetland Centre, just walking up from the car park. And the Wellney star species are already audible and indeed visible from the car park. The Hooper Swan, of course. Right, we're just making our way into the uh, state-of-the-art visitor centre here. And the big panoramic windows overlooking the uh, wetlands there. And just making our way up the uh, steps to uh, pay our entrance fee. The top of the steps is uh, where you pay for the shop. Also on this level is uh, a cafe where you can get everything from sandwiches to hot food. Okay, we've just paid to get in and uh, make our way up yet more steps. Well, you can take the lift. Brings you to this top viewing platform and there's a lower platform there on the same level as the cafe overlooking the wet meadows there. And there's the Hooper Swans. Well, we're just about to uh, cross the bridge to the observatory. Okay, here we are at the observatory. Check out the left-hand side first. And here we are. Uh, Wildlife and Wetland Trust was first started in 1946 by this guy, Sir Peter Scott, a well-known naturalist and uh, conservationist. And this really is birding in uh, luxury. The leather armchairs, uh, bird guides, uh, scopes are all at your disposal. And of course the uh, wonderful panoramic view of the ooze washes uh, for you to enjoy. There's also various uh, exhibits and information uh, concerning the three types of swan you get here at Welney. There's also uh, things for kids to do and lots of information about the incredible migratory journey that the birds make. That is the right hand side of the observatory which is a, a conventional open hide which I prefer especially when you're uh, filming and uh, photographing. I uh, prefer not to have any glass between the lens and the subject. Let's have a look see what's out there. We've got coot and uh, four types of duck. We've got tufted duck, lots of potchard, mainly males one view there with a lovely uh, chestnut head, mallards of course, and uh, just in front of us we've got a pair of male mallards uh, having a right scrap and they will actually fight to the death and try and drown each other sometimes. Looking further out on the spit there, the fourth species of duck which I think are distant but I think they're widgeon. Also uh, Lots of uh, lapwing on view, both in the air and then uh, on the spit there. Also a little bit further out, these are godwit. I wouldn't like to say whether they're uh, black-tailed or bar-tailed at this distance, but the swans here are mute swan and buicks. Uh, there's about 1,400 buicks here apparently, and uh, smaller than a Hooper swan and much more black on the beak. It travels much further up the beak, but they're a lot rarer and more difficult to see. These are the stars of the reserve, the Hooper swans. Travel here thousands of miles from uh, Iceland and Russia and the Arctic and all over Northern Europe. As you can hear, they're quite loud birds, lots of vocalizing going on can be uh, quite territorial and quite aggressive too. See among them there's quite a few young birds, it's probably their first uh, time in the UK, their first migration. Well as well as moving images, I uh, also wanted to get some decent stills of them uh, in flight today and I managed to get these uh, three or four images of the hoopers in flight that I was particularly pleased with which is good. I just noticed that the um, birds are all congregating because it's uh, the 12 o'clock feed and this guy uh, is given a talk and lots of information on the various birds here. Before he goes out he has to whistle to let them know that it's him uh, because although they seem quite tame they are wild birds and they're very 
timid. Uh, if a stranger was to walk out there, there'd be uh, a complete uh, panic. They do three feeds per day here, the 12 o'clock, uh, 3.30, and a floodlit feed at 6.30 p.m. It'd be uh, quite good to come and film that one day. Well, I took some slow-mo footage of the Hooper Swans flying, so I'll leave you with that and see you soon.